So, and Mahendra uh, and his uh, hackathon are about to do a series of short presentations. So, Mahendra, come on down and we'll uh, get you set up. And following that, we've got Dave Tarrant doing, uh, doing his thing with his Connect. So, please ignore me. Yeah. Do, you want, do you want to set up now? I'm going to stop. Okay, hello everyone. Um, my name's uh, Mahendra Mahay. Um, I work on a project, work on two projects actually, but um, the project I'm going to be talking about now is a project called Dev CSI, which stands for Developer Community Supporting Innovation. And its main remit is to um, kind of uh, work and sort of facilitate a community of developers working in, in further and higher education. We organize a lot of events. And um, one of the things that um, we organize are sort of challenges, developer challenges. And um, how many of you are aware that there was a challenge actually going on? OK, good. Right, OK. <clears throat> um, it's kind of experimental. I always get nervous doing this, because I'm thinking, we'll organize it, and nobody will actually enter. <laughs> but um, we've got, so far, the, the deadline is 3 o'clock. Um, for people to actually enter um, a challenge for the developer, uh, developer challenge. Um, we've got five entries, which I think is actually quite good. Okay. Um, and also, we've got another challenge, which you don't have to be a developer for, um, and that is um, the best idea. Okay. And we have three entries for that, and it's not too late to enter. You've got till 3 o'clock. Um, if you've got a really cool idea, um, there is a £50 Amazon voucher waiting for you. Um, you just need to uh, either tell me or email me. Um, it's all on the website, but uh, if, you do ha if you have an idea, my email address is m.mahey, M-A-H-E-Y, at bath.ac.uk. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to give you a sort of a very, very um, a, a sneak preview. I mean, there's no slides involved at the moment. Um, the developers are just going to talk about their entries. It's going to be a bit like, bit like a pitch. Um, they'll have a couple of minutes to do that. Um, so, um, first of all, I think I'll introduce you to um, People Pivot. Okay, this is Patrick, Matt, and Andy. Oh, Patrick, you're just going to do the... Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, I forgot to mention the challenge is focused on the repository theme this year, which is building bridges and social innovation. Thank you. <laughs> keep, keep having to remind ourselves. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is um, at quarter past four, we're going to have three, the three presentations, formal presentations, where you'd like to see what they've done. Um, but the three that we'll choose will be the winners, but they won't know in which order whether they were first, second, or third. Okay, so uh, next, um, Michael. You, um. Uh, so Jen and I are here, those who's not yep. getting some sleep. Um, <laughs> are, are building bridges between people using topics. So we, we've been doing some time uh, unsupervised topic modeling and collections of documents. So you get lots of topics that represent the documents. So People write or read documents, so that connects them to topics, but then there are other people connected to the same topics, so we're trying to build an interface that will work by four o'clock that shows you that and lets you wander from people to topics to people. Okay, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> okay, uh, Mark, would you like to come up?
Okay, thank you. Um, Jim? Okay, and it works, I've seen it working. <laughs> okay, thank you. So the, the next entry um, is from Jo Walsh. She's not actually here at the moment, but um, her, the title of her entry is Name Graph. And it's, I don't know that much about it, but uh, she's got a description. A tool to link data to documents and repositories via people and topics. And she's got a URL for it, so um, if she... Um, wins one of the entries, you might be able to see a bit more about that later. Okay, now just, just wanted to sort of, um, there's a few people who've submitted good ideas, so I'm going to put them on the spot, okay. Um, Peter, could you just give us a quick overview of your idea? Okay. <laughs> Yvonne, would you like to just... I think your idea is really good. <laughs> Actually, yeah, um, we've been thinking, because Open Repositories is going to be um, here next year, and I think that will replace Fringe. Well, well no, it will complement it, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay, um, we, we've actually been talking about this, Yvonne, and one of the simple questions, or one of the things we thought of was in the actual sign-up, when actually people register for the event, we asked them what are their biggest challenges in, in repositories. And then the idea would be that uh, when everybody came, came together at the beginning, you know, the, the welcome, we would then... Um, this, is, this is an idea that came from Graham Triggs, by the way. We were just talking about it upstairs. Um, the idea would be that we would summarise all, uh, all the ideas that came out, all 300 of them, whatever there is, <laughs> um, into kind of groups. And we thought about this idea of having stickers... Um, in people's badges, you take them out. So if you're interested in semantic web, you put a green star on your badge, okay? Or if you're uh, into uh, multimedia repositories, for example, a, 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 a red circle. So we know then the participants and their interests, and we can try to grab them and, and invite them to sort of talk to some of the developers who are interested in that as well. So but, from all of these topics, so there's never been entries socially, we should know that without the stickers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry. So, so something similar was done at the Social Innovation Camp we had here, I don't know, a month or six weeks ago. And the interesting thing there was that the groups that came together weren't groups of like-minded people who were all interested in semantic web or something. They were actually a design. 
designer, somebody who works with the public, and a hacker coming together to build something. And the mixing up of the groups yep. is actually probably better. So I wouldn't use your, your red labels to put all the red labels together, but rather to put mixtures together. No, no I mean, I mean I, the, the idea of that is to identify those people who are interested in that and then invite them to the lounge and you know, start a discussion, possibly start working together. I mean, we kind of mix... We want to get the people in as part of the conference to be, feel very much part of the development. And, and there's also kind of a, 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 a physical thing. The space is, is on the fourth floor. I think it should be right next to the action so that, you know, people can just come in. Because people, you know, people just... Oh, I won't go up to the fourth floor, you know. But it's actually a really nice space. Some of you were up there yesterday. Um, sorry, Peter. Yep. of using this alongside. Yep. Uh, we have this model of Edinburgh Fringe and Festival which we can learn from yep. to ensure that one does not um, upset the other or if it does, it does it in a rather more different way. Okay. Yep, good. Um, Jody? Yeah. Sorry, you submitted some ideas. Would, would you mind sort of putting you on the spot? <laughs> Do you, do you want me to remind you? Or? No, okay, fine. okay. Um, so, you've, so, if any of you sort of been inspired by this, if you've got any ideas, you can submit them to me before 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, we're going to then judge them, myself and Ian. And then at quarter past four, there's going to be three presentations. The, um, the, obviously, the, the three presentations, they'll know they've won something, but they won't know which, what they've won. So, <laughs> and then we'll announce uh, the, the order. Um, first, second and third. Um.